Yo, Snoop, how do you feel about being on the stew on 99.9 The Wire? How the f*** you think I feel? I ask no dumb questions. Tune in with Trisket, Egab, Drizzy, Jordy on the mic, and Flacco Z, right here on The Wild. Welcome in to be on the stew. First segment of the day, we have a special guest. Log with us today. Say hello, Log. How are you guys doing? We are well. We I feel are like well. it's weird that you guys say special guest when... You're I've, special. You, I, I, you I are. You. Like I've been here a lot. You're my favorite special guest. You guys need more special guests. He's the only... We're going to start people pulling away. people out of the hallway to interview. <laughs> you are the one and only special guest. Yes. Grab them as they walk by. Hey, get in here. Anyway, Podcast. Bryce has written up some facts for this next segment. We are going to talk about... Uh, your what? birth year, actually, and what we're gonna talk about in '85. What's going on in 1985? Hit him, Bryce. Can I ask a real question before we start? Okay. Why this year? You were born. Was so, year like, are born. we gonna do what happened in 2004 pretty soon? Yeah. I was born in 2005. Though. I, I was we born can do 05. Shrek do came out four. Right, Who was we'll born? Do. We'll do four and five. Why not? I mean, yeah. It's my show. Elijah, Elijah <laughs> born in 06. Is it six, please? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, now. We're not doing 06. <laughs> Anyways, so one of the first things that happened in 1985 was the domain name system for the internet was created. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, basically that, like w- the w- www's and uh, dot ninety nine nine wild dot net. Go see our <laughs> website. Plug. Uh, Back to the Future was released. Great movie. Ooh. Great movie. Is that one of your favorite movies of all time? Do you uh, like- I don't know about all time. That's a great movie. The number two and number three are terrible, but the first one is really good. That's What's the one where Biff owns the casino? That's number two. I don't hate that one. Yeah, I, don't hate it. I, like the first I liked the first and second one. Uh, number three is absolute terrible. They go on a time traveling train back to yeah, the West. I don't like that uh, one. That but I got the first two on DVD. So yeah, I have the first two on. A Blu-ray lot of really DVD. great movies came out in 1985. The Goonies came yes. out in really? 1985. Bob. Was a massive, massive year for movies. 1994 is probably the only year that surpasses it. Another movie I like that came out in '85 is The Breakfast Club. Great movie. Ooh. I love The Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club was a good movie. Uh, Cheesy like, but great. I feel like every high schooler should watch that movie. I like uh, Emilio Estevez. Emilio. <laughs> <laughs> the Co- The Cosby Show was big in 1985, and so was Family Ties. Those were the top two rated shows. In 85. I don't know that I've ever seen an episode of Family Ties, but I've seen a lot of episodes Dude, of the Cosby Show. Rocky Four came out. That's the best Rocky. It came out in 85. That's one where he fights. That fight was the his, Russian? Uh, yeah, yeah. Ivan. I think that one or the first one is the best one. Yeah. I mean, they're all four. All the Five is four. terrible. Five, Five should have never been. Yeah. Dead. That's the one with like, his kid, right? Or is that yeah, the Street Fighter? Yeah, he fights Tommy Morrison in the street. That, yeah, that one was stupid. That should That should have never been made. Uh, Did y'all see the new Creed coming out? I'm not gonna. I haven't watched a single one. Really? I actually, I watched the first one, but I, I just don't like it. You like him? I haven't seen any of the ones. Are you talking about the ones where like Michael B. Jordan is Creed? Yeah. yeah. No, I haven't seen them. Uh, they're all right. They're making a new one. All right. Switching to the sports side of it, for the NHL, the Ooh. Edmonton Oilers won the Stanley Cup. That would be the Wayne Gretzky led Edmonton Oilers. You have to think this is before any team expanded to the South, so we're not even talking about anything down south right now hardly there's, even cali teams existed there's probably at 1985 there's probably 18 to 20 teams that's insane I would say. all yeah. the canadian teams all the teams in the northeast chicago you, you got people like the penguins the bruins the maple leaves bruins have been the north stars while. were pretty good at the time the sabers too. were the i mean yeah anyway the yeah. lakers won the nba championship uh any not, magic johnson yeah. and company uh, yeah not surprising at all yep um, the Kansas City Royals won the World Series, but surprisingly, um, the Cosby Show and Family Ties had better ratings Hold than, on. than the World Series did that year. This isn't Bo Jackson, is it? Uh, this is more like George Brett type no, scenario. It wasn't. It wasn't Bo Jackson because okay. Joe ba- uh, Joe Jackson. Bo Jackson won. Um, <laughs> I think Rookie of the Year for the NFL. Did he? He won. He won a rushing award. Who won it in for the NBA five. this season? Michael Jordan won rookie of the year. Of course he did. Yeah. There you go. Michael Jordan was drafted and he won rookie. Jordans of the year. dropped. I didn't even think about this. Oh my god! This is the <laughs> first pair of Jordans dropped. The 1985 uh, cut. The 1985 Jordans. They go for like 60k now. 
I think he did get a shoe deal his like Yeah, his rookie oh, year he got oh, signed. He did get a shoe deal his rookie. It was his year. rookie year because it was the biggest thing on the documentary is that he had a whole episode about him and Nike. In the rookie year, his mom made him go with Nike because they offered the most money. When uh He wanted to go to Reebok. Did that do they have that in the last dance? Yeah, that's a, there's a whole episode in the last dance about his shoe deal. So. But yeah, the 1985 cut. It's like the most 19, iconic shoe ever released made. in 1985 original price was $65 mm -hmm. for a Jordan 1 that's how much it is $65 they now retail yeah, is usually gotta, 200 on, okay but you got to think like $65 then is really like $200 now yeah like $65 in 1985 that was a ton of money Y'all, people used to buy houses for like $50,000 in 1985 that's that's nuts. insane how much was gas 79 cents I don't know, it was 99 cents when I was in high school. So. Wow. I think my grandma told me a story. Gas that is She what? used to what take a nickel Dude, you to can't, the gas station. What was gas this morning? You can't drive past a gas station. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why'd you look at Hunter? You just because I work at a gas station. What's a, dude. What'd you I, set the sign I don't keep up? The gas station prices. Like. It's like looking at me and asking how much wood costs. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How, I, how much for a 4x4? Four four? You cannot drive past a gas station and not see a 3. It's Isn't that just mm. sad? <laughs> but just be glad we're not in California, where it's like five. I was or about six. to say in Cali, five there bucks was in Vegas. In Cali, there were some places that were six when I went. Gross. When Imagine gas was like really six bad. Six dollars a gallon. Bro, that's gas. Nuts. For, for like the premium, I need to stop saying like. But the premium up there, it was probably six thirty, six forty. Whenever I went, this I think summer. it's weird how money like grows in value over time. But it's weird because the dollar amount doesn't change. It's weird. Anyways. That happened in 1985, too. What? Inflation. Oh, did it? Inflation I don't know. Inflation happens all the time. Happens every year. All time high, 2023. Who was president when you were born? Oh, probably Gerald R. Ford. And then Ouch. Nixon. No, Nixon was before. I'm going to go with Ford is my guess, but I don't know that for sure. No, it's probably Bush. It's probably the first Bush. What Ooh. was the question again? President? Reagan. Yeah. Oh. It was Ronald Reagan. It was Reagan? It Man. was Ronald Reagan. Was Reagan served from 81 like. to 89. What you Wait, Jordan, did you just say Reagan? And then Bush. Bush. Yeah. yeah. Bush was the first president I remember. And in 1985, Joe Montana and the 49ers won the Super Bowl, defeating the Miami Dolphins. Was that his first Super Bowl? That was Dan Marino's that was known second. Year. It was, was that uh, Joe Montana's first year. The only year? time he ever got close to winning a Super Bowl. Yeah, it was called the Battle of the Quarterbacks because yeah. they were both like best two quarterbacks. Yeah. Dan Marino never got back ever again. Joe Montana the is the first quarterback to win a national championship and a Super Bowl. It's a little fun fact. I didn't know that. Yeah. He went to Notre Dame, didn't he? Is it Notre mm -hmm. Dame he went to? Yeah. And Notre Dame was yeah. a powerhouse back then. Yeah. Not anymore. He has yeah, what? No, four, no does he have four Super Bowls? Because yes. Uh, no, Steve three. Smith has, he has three. two with Steve Smith. Steve no, not Steve Young, my bad. Like <laughs> Steve Smith didn't win a Super Bowl, did he? No. Nope. R.I.P. He's not dead. He's just trash. He's <laughs> just <laughs> trash. Uh, everyone's looking around awkwardly, so I'm going to wrap it up. I think that wraps it up. On is that, our, is that right. all we're doing? That's all you wanted to do for 1985? Best Beastie combo. Like, I'm about to destroy y'all when we do 2005. Okay. What no up? music, no nothing, no 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 major like news events. That's what I'm trying to Lionel Richie, uh, Lionel Richie uh, had the, had the number one song in '85. It was uh, something. Let me see. It was something. It was something. All right. 1985 albums. Oh, Tears for Fears, they dropped the song Everybody Wants to Rule the World. That's a great song. Uh, dire Straits dropped the album where what was on that album? Money for Nothing. Uh, Number one album, Born in the USA. Bruce oh my god, Bruce, The Boss. Mm -hmm. The Boss. That was 1985, right? I feel like you guys sleep on 80s music. It's pretty good. Well, I'm kind of going off no. the dome here because nothing's popping up in like an order. It depends. <laughs> I feel like you have to understand the like overall theme of what music sounded like in the eighties. It's I, Molly Crew dropped behind, their worst like album, it. Theater of Pain. Oh. That's that, a terrible album. I don't know that I could name you two Motley Crew albums. I could probably name you at least three. Go. 
Dr. Feelgood, Theater of Pain, and Looks That Kill. Good job. Shout out. Good job, Motley Crue. All right, so we're doing 2005 Ooh. next time. Careless Whispers came out. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight into 2005. Yeah, we'll do, uh, let me do some research so I can see if, if you guys remember any and all of this. We were born, we were and we're going to take a research break right here on 99.9 The Wild.